turning the world green has been our dream now we have been often hearing from our elders to plant more trees to make environment green in order to protect the earth to have or to prevent the climate change but in the process we have forgotten a unheard secret and that lies in the blue oceans and that is a very important topic of concern that we would be discussing and those are whales whales help to combat carbon neutrality so big whales like uh, sperm whales baleens try to hold carbon and stockpile in their bodies in order to make carbon neutral atmosphere now how this all happens is a really interesting journey we would understand that in a while and you would be able to answer the question that one whale is worth 1000 trees by the end of this lecture so international monetary fund has evaluated the price of a whale to nearly 2 million dollars during the time of prevailing the time before which the commercial whales the commercial ships started you had a population of nearly 4 to 5 lakh whales that was present in the oceans across the globe however with time this population significantly declined and now we need to reach back to the pre commercial whaling uh, the pre commercial shipping time and increase the population of this whales whales have a unique phenomena they dive deep into the ocean waters they feed on the material the small fishes and other food particles that they ingest and they come on to the surface the excreta of the whales is rich in three things that is iron that is nitrogen and phosphorus in the cold areas it's mainly the iron excretions and in the warm areas it's mainly the nitrogen and the phosphorus excretions now why these excretions are so important the excreta which is rich in iron nitrogen phosphorus is an excessively important source for planktons these small planktons that you can see here floating on the surface now these small planktons absorb carbon they can retain nearly 40% of the total atmospheric carbon and why these three elements are important for planktons because they provide a growth medium the more iron is present the more nitrogen and phosphorus is present you would have better growth of planktons that would be seen more growth of planktons would lead to more absorption of the carbon because uh, planktons are an important source of carbon Uh, carbon dioxide absorption and they contribute to nearly half of the atmospheric oxygen that is there so significant role being played by whom significant role being played by whales here again it is very very interesting to note that it would take an equivalent of nearly four amazon rainforest can you imagine amazon rainforest of south america we would have nearly four amazon rainforest an equivalent amount of carbon dioxide can be captured by whales now these whales how i said they can uh, have a capability to replace the thousand trees a mature tree one big tree can absorb nearly 22 kg of carbon per day or per year sorry okay however so it is 22 kg of carbon per year by a mature tree which can be seen here and what about whales whales have an interesting value here and this is 33 tons of carbon dioxide per year so can you assume the quantity of the work done by a single whale in contrast to the number of trees so i can simply put up here that one whale 
is equivalent to nearly 1500 trees. So it's equivalent that you rather plant 1500 trees or enrich the ocean by one whale. Even if 1% of the population of whales is increased, only 1% of the population of whale is increased in the ocean, it would lead to millions of tons of oxygen being increased in the atmosphere and millions of tons of carbon dioxide being captured by the planktons. So even if 1% rise or 1% recovery in the existing levels of the proportion of whales that are present in the ocean takes place, it would lead to a significant increase in the number of planktons that are there. The humpback whales, which are commonly seen in the region of South Atlantic, their population has significantly declined and as of now, there are only 25,000 whales. Previously, there were lakhs of those whales that were present in South Atlantic. So, you can understand the amount of equivalence that is required because with each whale, or a proportionate increase in the whale would lead to so much increase in the amount of planktons which would act as carbon sink and there would be a significant uh, multiplication in terms of the economic value of carbon sequestration as well and trillions of dollars uh, could be saved if the population of whales in the ocean have been increasing or is increased in the coming years definitely it would take a period of nearly 30 years further to have the values back if we plan now so it's a very important time that we must think about issues like this we would be capturing many such interesting issues in the upcoming lectures stay tuned have a wonderful day ahead